Oh man, ever since Black Friday. I love these emails. They're not even valid people. You know what? For funsies, I went and clicked on this link to see what it did. And it wants you to download a .zip file. A .zip.exe file. Why? Because this is linking you to a virus. It's not valid. It's not even from FedEx. There's the email address it's coming from. 522.high at portland.com. Yep. Not even a valid freaking email address for FedEx. Lovely. Wonder how many computers they've hijacked with this one here. Luckily, I did it all on my iPad. Therefore, uh, not at risk. You know what I'm saying? Not at risk. You know? It's just not at risk. Yep. The fun people have trying to screw other people over, I tell you. Some people just get too much joy out of it. And welcome to my vlog. You know the rule. Nice. If you can fit in it, you can sit in it. Right, Felix? That's right. This is my new house. R really, dude? Yeah, my house. Really? Really? Yeah, it's my house. It's my house. It's my house. It's not your castle. Why I'm leaving then. Stupid taking my castle away. It's not your castle. Dude, I'm going away. Do what? <laughs> Where are you going? Well, I'm going away. To the kid dad. you silly kid dad. Alrighty, people. Well, I'm on my way over to my dad's house. I'm gonna go fix his computer for the 17th millionth time. Wouldn't have to keep doing this if he just let me do what I want to do, but he won't let me do what I want to do, so now we got to do it the difficult way. So we're just going to go over there. I want to try that super anti-spyware program, see if we can cure some stuff up on his computer. If not, then uh, I'm going to tell him to deal with it until he's ready for me to format it. And if that's not good enough for him, tough titties, because it needs to be formatted. The OS is completely cocked. And that's the way it should be. All right, well, let's get rolling out of here. All right, let's try and get this car out of the driveway. No crashing into anybody. All right, we're clear. All right, let's transform and roll out. Oh yeah, this morning, woke up, you know, took my morning deuce, watched some YouTubes on the iPod while pooping. I came across a video where obviously this video was entirely about me. <laughs> what can I say? It was indirectly about me. It starts off where Starts talking about winter tires and how if you don't have them, you're an idiot, basically. You know, because I made an opinion on why I don't like winter tires. I prefer the ease of all seasons where you don't have to change them out every every season. And I've always had all seasons before, never had a problem in the winter. I was always able to come to a stop, mainly because I don't drive like I'm, you know, 25 years old or so. I made that comment in a vlog in the past and obviously uh, I'm not allowed to have an opinion on anything because uh, basically I'm an idiot, so fuck it, right? And then uh, another part of the video was about uh, another vlogger called Chris Perillo. A lot of you probably remember Chris Perillo from such TV shows as uh, Call for Help on Tech TV or I think now it's called G4 TV. I don't know, they've changed the network, they never got sold. And now he's got his uh, Locker Gnome channel on YouTube where he posts a bunch of videos everything from reviews to vlogs to stuff that comes up in his live chat and I personally I don't like Chris Perillo but apparently I'm not allowed to not like him because all my friends like him and I gotta do what my friends want like holy shit you can't have you can't be yourself you gotta fucking conform to everybody like are you fucking for real so I say I don't like him because I have my own personal reasons, but I got to explain my own personal reasons because my friends all like them. My friends love his videos, so now I got to explain why I don't want to watch his videos. Like, are uh, unfucking believable? You know, sometimes with friends like these, who the fuck needs enemies? So, oh, fuck it. I don't really care for the guy, so that's my own choice. Out of, my, out of the tech reviewers out there that I like, I like John Four Lakers from Techno Buffalo. The guy keeps it real. He keeps it unbiased. You know, and. Um, a lot of people don't like John Four Lakers, uh, John Retton. They don't like his voice. They find he talks too much from the nose. And they find him very, very annoying because he tries to be, like he comes on there and he tries to show a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of people don't like that. And they find him very, very annoying. And I'm not about to force, well, you gotta watch him, man. He's the fucking best. He's blah, 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 you know? But whatever, man. Like, yeah, Perillo has a lot of viewers. Of course he has a lot of viewers. A lot of people love Perillo. I'm just one of the many few who doesn't. And that's the way she's gonna be. I, I thought we were allowed to have freedom around here. Guess not. Oh well, fuck them. 
not going to conform, going to do my own thing, and if people don't like it, well, I got a brown eye they can fucking chooch on. That's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. Any hoozle, we're almost at dad, so I'm going to go try and see if I can clear whatever junkware is in his computer that's cocking the system over out. Hopefully he got in talk with Big Fish Games because I wanted to know that if we uninstall the Big Fish Game Installer, whatever, Game Manager, if it'll blow away all of his video games and he said he was gonna call buddy van dudo and find out and i don't know if he did yet so i guess we'll have to wait and see he said he got those christmas lights up oh yeah they're up there right on all right well let's go see uh if he did his homework so i can do my day work right on let's rock and roll holy shit definitely definitely look at this all the Montreal Canadian stuff's gone and it's all freaking Santa Claus. Oh, check that out. Dad set up his Santa's village. Let's go for a fly through. Oh wait, never mind. There's all the Montreal stuff back there. Yeah, sorry, my bad. Looks like it snowed more over here than it did at my house. Holy shit. Yeah, looks like it snowed more here. Kind of weird. Not that far apart, and it definitely looks like he got a little bit more drift than I did. Now, he needs to shovel his deck. He started. Alrighty, people, well, I just scanned my mom's computer here, and she had 149 detections. Just doing dad's now. He's up to, what, 59? I don't know if this is going to fix the big fish problem, but we'll find out. Dad already did the homework, so apparently we can uninstall and reinstall the game manager, and it might resolve the issue. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't cock over the entire program, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. And that's what we're gonna do. Well, people, we got it, I think. I don't know, probably not. That computer needs a format. There's a lot of shit running that shouldn't be running. So, Dad said he's gonna wait till he gets his new laptop. Then we'll wipe the system clean and we'll be good to go. So, right on, right on. Another day, another dollar. Even though I'm not getting paid for this. But, you know, it's the way she goes. Any hoozle, I'm just gonna outside for a quick second. And then we're gonna head her home. So, right on. Yeah, it's 3.30, zero degrees Celsius out. I'm gonna run and grab a grab some gas for the car because we're sitting at about a quarter of a tank. I don't like letting it drop below that, as I said in the past. Of course, now I'm gonna get the constant friggin' message from certain people. Why don't you let it drop below a quarter of a tank? It's because I don't like to. It's a friggin' deal with it. So I'm gonna go fuel up and uh, we're gonna give her. So, let's freaking give her. That's funny, the Mitsu's anchored. <laughs> Freaking icicle coming off the exhaust, currently connected with the ground. Yep, that'll be interesting. Alrighty, well, we've been home for a while. I haven't really done too much. Um, just been chilling out. Just been chilling out. Had some dinner, you know, leftovers from last night and stuff. And, uh, Mom sent me home with a bunch of food, and you know, you know how it is when I go visit my parents. So, yeah, we're gonna watch Big Bang and Supernatural. We found out both of those aren't playing right now because of uh, Thanksgiving weekend. I guess they didn't air them, so that's all right. I'll have to wait till next week. It's about uh, quarter after six now. You know, went for a little drive, did a little tour. It was all right, it was all right. So, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna get into tonight. Just gonna give her. Just finished rendering up some Happy Wheels footage here for the gaming channel. Right on, right on. Oh. Well. Just carry on, because it is what it is. Alrighty, well, not too much going on right now. It's 9 o'clock, and uh, just been sitting here playing on YouTube, playing some Fruity Loops, and, you know, that's that audio editing software. Just farting around, and, you know, chatted with uh, Hey It's Chutch. If you guys don't remember Hey It's Chutch, go check out a couple of his videos. Uh, I'll put his link in the description. He had a series running last year, I think it was last year, called uh, Getting Fat on Sundays. It was... Um, Pretty crazy. They drank an absurd amount of liquor and either barbecued or oven cooked the shit out of a bunch of meat and made some pretty interesting little concoctions that uh, got you fat on Sundays because that's when the show aired and it was pretty good. So go check him out on the YouTubes. Um, he hasn't put a video up in a while because he's uh, currently without a computer because his computer shat the bed. So he's uh, currently uh, between computers. He's about to hook up with another computer soon where he will start producing more videos. So, there'll be some new content coming out come uh, come this winter, which will probably be some more getting fat on Sundays. So, we'll have to wait and see. It'll be awesome. So, I'll have to see how that goes, and um, I friggin' need a cigarette. Not sure how well this is coming through on camera, but holy shit, there's a lot of snow out there in Arizona, my bitch. Yep, we got dumped on. 
Holy shit. Did we ever. It's amazing how the camera does that. Yep. Well guys, I know I've been talking about networks and stuff like that a lot in my past vlogs. I don't think I mentioned it recently. But I just wanted to mention that uh, I'm, an I'm an official recruiter now of Red Light Broadcasting. And um, if you would like to get your channel partnered with Red Light Broadcasting and you think you have the views and the subs and all that shit to do it, by all means, contact me through a PM on Vlogging Life and uh, contact me with your actual channel. I'll run the channel, I'll check it out. And if um, I think it's good, like if I, I, not that I think it's good, I mean that if I think it's, it qualifies to what uh, standards that the red light's looking for, I will fire it off, well, I'll fire you off a recruiting letter. If you want to complete it, it's up to you. I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there because um, we are looking for a lot more vloggers, in real lifers basically, like off-road people, mechanics, people who cook, people who clean, whatever, whatever you got. We're looking to, you know, originally it was all about gaming, but um, let's face it, the gaming market's oversaturated. So they want to pick up other people and, well, like I mentioned to a JP, the CEO, I said, well, a lot of the people who watch me and make videos aren't afraid to stand in front of a camera and talk to it. So he said, well, go on your vlog and mention it and see who wants to come on board. You know, see if anybody wants to join up with Red Light Broadcasting. And uh, by all means, if you want to know more about it, you can contact me and uh, I'll explain as much as I can. You know, I'll give you all the information I got, and you can roll with it. I'm just saying. So, by all means, contact me if you're interested, and uh, just give her. Just give her. But today's been a pretty relaxed day. Like I told Dad about his computer, I said there's, like today I ran super antivirus, or super anti-spyware on it, and it found like a hundred and some odd freaking infections, got rid of them, did it to Mom's too, found a bunch of infections, got rid of them. We blew away and reinstalled the Big Fish Game Manager. And now we're going to see if that resolves the problem. <laughs> Freaking yawn. I don't know if it will. I highly doubt it will, to be honest with you. But um, if it does, then sweet balls. That means the problem's resolved. If it doesn't, then son of a bitch, freak seeks, and other things. But I told him, I said, the only thing I can do now, like, you should see all the processes running in the background that shouldn't be running. You should see all the freaking services running in the background that shouldn't be running. Stuff that you can't even turn off, even if you want to, without having to go in and start like ripping things. That system's just rifle cocked, and it needs a fresh format. And like he said, he goes, once he does a fresh format, now that he has the Big Fish account with all of his games on it, he's not going to buy those Walmart games. Because the problem is those Walmart games, those iWin games, come packed with so much friggin' bloat spyware that it's unbelievable. So basically, he's hoping around Boxing Day that there's going to be some wicked deal on a laptop that'll be ideal for his for business use. And he can move all of his business stuff to the laptop and strictly use the laptop for working and use his desktop for play. And then we're going to reformat the desktop once we get all the shit over to the laptop. And then uh, rock out with that. And it'll be pretty freaking sweet. So that's the battle plan there. So we'll just have to wait and see when he gets a laptop so I can go over there and freaking fix his desktop and be done with it. Like, I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know. So... Just one of those things that we're going to have to friggin' do and get her done and hammer down. That's the way she goes. I kind of want a coffee, but I probably shouldn't because I should get to bed early tonight. So I'm not up all hours of the night. I'm then getting up at 2 o'clock tomorrow, but uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a coffee. I got a couple Keurig cake-ups left. But tomorrow I'm thinking about going to the Keurig shop down the road here and scooping up a bunch. I want to see if they have the Christmas specials in because I really like my Christmas Keurigs. Christmas Keurigs, they're so friggin' great and yummy. Green Mountain Coffee presents limited edition Keurig K-Cups in succulent flavors such as gingerbread, spicy eggnog, and the ever so delicious golden French toast. Come get your coffee on, bitches. Alrighty people, not sure how well I'm coming through, and there's a fan going in the background, but I um, just want to say right now, I'm actually filming with my old Panasonic, the SD20. Now, I did some research because Motor Riley actually brought something to my attention about that new camera I bought. Let's, let's talk about this one here first. This is the first Panasonic I've ever purchased, the SD20. Now, it's a 1080p camera, yeah. Uh, two generations old. Uh, doesn't have a hard drive built into it. Runs off flash memory, yada, yada, yada. And it only has a what? One point, uh, stand by. It has 1.17 megapixels. 
all it has, 1.17 megapixels, doing 1080p at 24 frames per second, uh, per second film mode. Now, the TM80, which was the camera that I was using for the longest time on my vlogs, um, that camera there, that's the one that's in the shop right now getting repaired, it only has a 1.3 megapixel sensor, and it did some pretty clean video. Now, the new one, the, T, uh, the uh, V500K, which is the one that's supposed to be coming in from Newegg, the one that I ordered, it's got a 1.5 megapixel sensor. Now you're probably saying, well, why can't that do 1080p? Well, if you do the actual numbers, 1920 times 1080, you'll see it comes up to 2.1 million and a bunch of freaking numbers. So you need a 2.1 megapixel sensor to properly produce a true 1080p picture. I honestly think the video quality out of this camera is not too shabby. Only thing I don't like about it, right now I have the wide angle lens on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off. And now I don't have the wide angle lens on it. Now I'm just running it flat out. Now there's the wide angle lens that I use, some cheap Chinese freaking look at that, fish eye effect. Vigo! Vigo! Sorry about that. But um, that's basically the lens that I use. I got it from Deal Extreme, and it doesn't do too bad of a job. It's kind of shitty, but, you know, it's pretty filthy, too. Where's my freaking towelette? Where's my most towelette? Ugh, I need a wet nap. Jesus. There we go. Get some of this on there and clean it all up and make it look all shiny and perfect and stuff. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. But, um, yeah, so this has a 1.2 megapixel sensor, or what is it, 1.17 or some shit? Yeah, 1.17. Um, we're gonna stab you back on there and give you a little screwy screw. So, we'll just get this tripod to not be stupid and aim it right. So, this has, like I said, the 1.17 megapixel. The TM80 had the 1.3 megapixel camera, and a lot of people said that camera actually looked pretty good. So, I can only imagine that the... HC V500K is gonna look freaking beautiful. So it'll have a 1.5 megapixel camera or a 1.5 megapixel sensor. Now, what I don't get is it still doesn't do 1080, so how the frig is it gonna do 1080 at 60p? Guess we'll have to wait and see, right? Can't wait for that thing to come in just so we can really benchmark the shit out of it. But I figured I would shoot part of the vlog with the SD20 just to, you know, show you what the camera looks like and sounds like and it's not a bad camera you know it does a great job the only reason why i don't use it very often is um mainly its size she's freaking massive people i got that tumor butt battery on it and the hd uh, or the uh, wide angle lens really adds some girth to the front end and she gets pretty heavy in your hands to walk around and vlog with but um i don't know maybe i'll finish off the vlog today with it frig it it's got the stereo mic on it so that's kind of neat actually it's a 5.1 channel mic <laughs> but yeah like I don't know, it's kind of a kind of a neat camera. And the um, only problem is with the wide angle lens on it is it blocks out the actual light bulb. So when you want to use the onboard light, uh, the wide angle lens kind of screws that up for you, so you can't do that. But you know what? Don't need to use the light, because we can use lighting other places. <coughs> so frigate, frigate. But yeah, just wanted to talk about that camera, because Motor Riley is right. It is a 1.5 megapixel sensor. But then again, look at some of the Sonys out there. Let's go. Let's go find some of the Sonys here. Uh, Sony, what is it? Uh, friggin', what's the 210? What the hell is that one? Can't remember what the hell it is. Uh, is it the HDC, HDR something 210 or some crap? Uh, I freaking hate this site. Why am I on this site? Sony HDR CX190. There we go. So let's look up the CX190. See what the friggin's got. So it's got a 1.31 megapixel sensor, and that camera is 200 bucks. Yeah, let's look up the CX260, which is the new one. Sony CX260 has a standby, looking for it. Now the 260 is 359. It can do 1920 by 1080p at 60 frames per second. And it honestly doesn't say here what it has for a sensor. Doesn't say. Doesn't frickin' say. Let's see if Future Shop has it listed. Holy shit, Future Shop. You gotta fix your damn website, let me tell you. Every time I try to go to Future Shop when I don't really want to, but I want to, um, it always shits the bed. Okay, we'll go to Future Shop here and see what they say about it. 
See what they say about it in the son of a bitch department. Camp Cordes, look at Camp Cordes. Sorry, I tend to sing. Oh my god, hurry up, purchaser, your site seeks. Holy shit, go to Staples, at least I know they have it. Future shop sites just blows big time. Never freaking works. Okay, so cameras? Freaking digital camcorders. Well, they got one here. The Sony HDR PJ200, which has a projector. And uh, it's got a 1.5 megapixel sensor. Yeah, 1.58 8 inch. Sorry, 1.5 megapixel sensor with this. Yeah, so it's at the back illuminated 1.58 megapixel sensor. So. Yeah, all in all, it's like a lot of these consumer-based high-definition cameras are packing the same thing. They're not packing a pro, like a high-end sensor. Unless you're really seriously dropping some coin into your cameras and you're getting a prosumer, like Bloke's camera, or just a pro camera, like those big bastard $1,299 Canons and $1,500 Sonys, you're basically going to get interpolated... HD and is that a bad thing? Well, no, because YouTube cocks over the format anyway when you upload. So who gives a shit? Well, that's the way I see it. So as long as it's clear enough where you guys can tell what the frig's going on, it's good enough for this guy. I'm just you saying. know what, people? That snowblower might be coming out sooner than I thought. Holy shit! She's just pissing out. Just pissing snow. Streets covered. I will not be surprised if a plow rolls out tonight. Not one bit. Yep, late night. Was up super late chatting with Crazy Logie on the Skype. Sure was. Looks like it finally stopped snowing. Cars are coated. Frig it. I got a brush for that. Yep. Fun stuff. So yeah, been a late night. Was up late chatting with Crazy Logie. You know, I haven't talked to that guy in a long time. Shit's been crazy in his life. He's been busy working and all that and... Good times, good times. So he came on Skype tonight and we chatted for a bit and stuff and told me that uh, he went into a hangout with a certain group and comments were made and I was like, oh yeah. I'm like, you know, some people never change. There was the proof, fuck them. But so you all know, everything's going good in Logie land. Right on, right on. As for me, I need to shut this vlog down because it's friggin' late. I didn't expect to stay up this late, so whoops. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Future Shop Find out what the cock's going on with my camera. Because this is ridiculous and things. So I want to know because come on. Come on. I need my camera back. So we're going to see what they're going to do for me. Hopefully I get it back tomorrow. Hopefully it's been sitting there and they just forgot the call. Because that's what happened last time. When the camera came back for repairs. They got it on Tuesday. Never called. If I wouldn't have showed up on Friday. They probably wouldn't have called and just held on to it for life. And called me like three weeks later and said, Oh, by the way, we got your camera. So that's awesome. So we'll deal with that tomorrow. But as for tonight, I'm shutting her down here, people. If you like today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments section below. And until next time, people, keep on blogging. Now friggin' indulging in it and that. And let's just say last night at work, nobody showed up. We all got sick. I thought it was just me, but we all got sick. We all got pretty, pretty sick. We got food poisoning. Food poisoning from the moose meat frickin' pepperettes. Lovely. So the moral of the story is, when you're buying a pack of cigarettes, something that is already intended to kill you, don't accept the free meat that comes with it, because chances are it's just going to speed up the process. Just thought you'd like to know. Alright, well, I don't know what the hell we're going to get done today. I'm feeling a lot better though. Probably going to have a coffee, because coffee always accelerates healing process with me, because I love coffee, and caffeine's awesome. Had a shower. That's where we want my hair's a freaking mess. Also, let's go outside. You guys see this? We got snow. It's awesome. Yeah, we got snow. Not a lot, obviously. Just a little bit, but snow is snow. Right on. Well, I am feeling a lot better today than I was.